Michael said, says it's as if we are in an ambush, but don't worry. And he said, keep calm. Then we reached to the place. All the passengers were sleeping like this. No one could uh, move. And only the bandits were there, he had hidden there. Their faces were, were hidden. Very well armed. And Michael came out of the car, went down. Myself, to be honest, I was there shivering because I knew what would happen. I've spent quite a bit of time in Africa. There are so many conflicts in Africa that need peace builders uh, to try to find some al other alternative to uh, solving problems. And uh, so the chance to raise funds for uh, a scholarship that will produce more peace builders is something I really care about. This is for you, Michael Sharp. You were planning to make this hike. Unfortunately, you are no longer with us. I decided to join the group of hikers so that I could honor you. So whatever I will be doing, I will be thinking that we are together, you are with us, because we are here for you. Well, I'm getting my master's in conflict resolution, and so he had sort of the job that I want, so that's, it's always interesting to follow those stories, and that's kind of how we heard about it. It's a new day, the sun is up, off we go. Anytime the sun rises, there's a new day of opportunity. And ours is to make it to the new camp. I'm learning a lot about MJ on this trip. I mean, the stories that are being told by his father and also somebody he worked with are inspiring. This was um, the, the guy that had the bounty on his head, the five million. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was when he was living at the house. And I remember the night before he was going into the bush to meet with him. And that's what he was talking about. It's like, dude, I'm about to meet with a guy with a five million bounty on his head. And I did, the money wasn't the motivation. No. He, he wanted to be the guy. Yes. He wanted to be the guy that, that yeah. got this guy out of the bush, you know? Jason Stern said, <laughs> lots of people say they don't care about the money. Yeah. MJ's the only one yeah. I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he didn't care about the money. He just cared. He, like, he wanted to be that guy. I remember thinking too, just like, Jay, you're crazy, man. Then he went down directly to the one of those uh, bandits and said, but what are you doing? What is this? How can you treat people in such a way in their own country? Are you serious? I, the people were with big guns. MJ really wasn't, he wasn't afraid to die because he said, um, even if our blood was spilled, that is how the legacy, it will still live on through what we did. It seemed like he was giving his life away in a sense and took risks to do that. Uh, I think that's inspiring me to think, you know, what I can do in retirement to make a difference and even take some risks that that maybe I otherwise wouldn't do. I'm a prime example of how he lives on because now all of a sudden I'm interested in his work and what he did and why he did what he did. That just shows how much of an impact a man I never knew, never had a direct contact with ever, how he could influence my thoughts and what I think and maybe, um, maybe my work for the future. I know he's with us. Uh, he goes and comes at will, but um, he can also be called upon.
Ruffles arrested, ready to go. My main challenge will be getting my breath. Today was easier than yesterday. Pole pole, slowly, slowly. Yesterday was brutal. Um, I made it along the Bronco wall because I had guardians with me. <laughs> to be honest, mostly I've been thinking about one foot in front of the other, <laughs> where the next foot is gonna land. Kilimanjaro isn't so far away anymore. It's right there. So we're gonna make it. And besides, we've had no rain. We've had blue skies every day, except for parts of days we had cloud cover. But fabulous weather. And what happened is that the guys, they just took what was already out and they flew back to the bush. Finally, they, re they realized that, oh, of course, the bandits were away and they all woke up, they went back to the bus. But I was not yet convinced because I said, maybe these guys are just behind the, the bush here and they may shoot on us. Because it's as if we, 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 we didn't allow them to finish their operation. So, what will happen? It's one thing to, to go and hike Mount Kilimanjaro. It was like, you know, some random, like, ah, oh, it'll be fun to go hike Mount Kilimanjaro. But then to have this other piece to it, I know encouraged me to keep moving on. I had no MJ, but I, but I also, you know, I was, I was pretty sure it was going to be a good group of people. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a big draw, mm -hmm. and that was true. All these people that we've gotten to know mm -hmm. along the way and heard all the stories, mm -hmm. the top wouldn't be as important if you didn't have the people doing it with you. He said, when we are together, when you are with me in such a situation, don't worry. I said, why? He said, two reasons. One is that they can take us and go with us in the bush. They kidnap us. In that case, my country, the US, will come and look for me. I said, OK. Second thing, they can kill us. Because it can happen. Even if they kill us, don't worry. Even after our death, our blood will change many things in this country. And I tell you, I, I couldn't understand. The, the, I mean, what, what he was speaking was coming from. Michael, are you ready to sacrifice your life for the people you don't know, Congolese people. He said, yeah, we are called to work for peace, and sometimes peace requires sacrifices. something we do every single day. We're about to summit Kilimanjaro in memory of our friend and colleague and son and brother, Michael J. Sharp.
that's what we're about to do. I like uh, the fact that they call Kilimanjaro the roof of Africa and just tossing his ashes to the wind on the roof of Africa mm. and just seeing him spread out. Mm. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this opportunity you give us to gather in this place. We couldn't imagine this would be possible a week ago, but thanks to you, love, we are here. You know why we are here, and this is why we worship you. We have just thrown these ashes. We pray that it can be the seed of peace, the seed of dignity, the seed of human rights all over the world. We are at the peak of Africa, the roof of Africa. We wish that, that all the way, everywhere these ashes will go, they may bring peace. We pray that you continue blessing us as a family so that our, these people we are remembering today can continue serving through us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, my God. 